Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Agri Entomology Tutor. I am Varshini and I am doing my post graduation in Agricultural Entomology at Junagadh Agriculture University. In the next few videos of mine, let us solve some of the basic questions of entomology, particularly on insect morphology. Before that, if you are watching this channel for the first time, please subscribe and click on the bell button to be notified about our future videos. So the first question is, the book Principles of Insect Morphology is written by R. E. Snodgrass. Each body division in insect is known as Agmeta. As we know, the insect's body is broadly divided into three regions. One is uh, head, thorax and abdomen. The process through which these body divisions are formed is known as tagmosis and hence each body division will be referred to as tagmeta. Whereas this somite or metameres refer to individual segments like head is again divided into six segments, thorax into three that is pro, meso and meta and abdomen is composed of eight to eleven segments. The external covering of the body of an insect that is integument or exoskeleton is dash in origin. Ectodermal. So now the question arises as to how do we tell an organ is so and so in origin like ectodermal, endodermal or mesodermal. What happens during the embryonic uh, development of an insect is that uh, that is the development taking place when the insect is in still in its egg stage. There occurs a process called organogenesis in which from these layers that is ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm which are referred to as germ layers different organs get differentiated. Like if you can see here, from ectoderm, from ectoderm, central nervous system, epidermis and its derivatives will be formed. And mesoderm will give rise to visceral muscles, skeletal muscles, fat body, and also genital ridges. And similarly, endoderm will give rise to midgut. And thus, they are said to be originated from the respective germ layers. Chitin constitutes nearly dash percent of dry weight of insect. 25 to 40%. Exocuticle and endocuticle together form. Procuticle. When we look at the insect integument, it is made up of parts like cuticle and epidermis. Epidermis is a unicellular layer resting on the basement membrane and having the functions like cuticle secretion, wound repairing, digestion and absorption of the old cuticle and gives surface look. Cuticle is again divided into the epicuticle and procuticle. Procuticle in turn is subdivided into exocuticle and endocuticle and epicuticle is made up of five layers like cement layer, cuticoline layer, wax layer, outer epicuticle and inner epicuticle. The water soluble cuticular protein is Orthropodin. When we look at the protein composition of the cuticle, it is mainly made up of chitin but along with this chitin, exocuticle has sclerotin. Sclerotin is tanned protein and water insoluble. And endocuticle has chitin and orthropodin. Orthropodin is untanned protein and water soluble. Whereas resilin is an elastic protein present in the wing articulatory sclerites. Cuticle forms the inner lining of all of this the foregut and hindgut, reproductive tract, and trachea. Chitin is abundant in endocuticle. The reason for this may be the thickness of the endocuticle. Since the thickness is more, obviously the chitin content will be more. Which organ secretes mounting hormone in insects? It is prothoracic gland. The neurosecretory cells of the brain 
secrete PTTH hormone that is prothoracic otrophic hormone which stimulates the prothoracic gland to secrete ecdyson nothing but the malting hormone and below this neurosecretory cells two glands are present one is corpus allatum and corpus cardiacum the function of corpus allatum is to secrete juvenile hormone and corpus cardiacum secretes eclosion hormone hollow imagination of the integument in insect is known as apodeme and apophysis is the solid imagination of insect integument the external lines or grooves in the insect skeleton indicating the division of distinct parts of the body wall are called sutures these sutures are product of sclerotization and they divide the head capsule of a matured insect into different regions like the epicranial suture is present in the vertex region between gena and frons the facial area of the insect we have the frontogenal sutures between frons and clypeus there exist frontoclypeal suture which is also known as epistomal suture and between clypeus and labrum there is clypeo labral suture and around the compound eyes we can see the ocular sutures and around the antenna uh, antennal sutures are present to which antenna get attached which of the following is the true suture post occipital suture which lies over here and we call this as a true suture because this is the only suture that has metameric segmentation labrum is present on dash segment of insect head it is on third segment the first segment has compound eyes second segment has antenna third segment has labrum as i said and fourth segment has mandibles fifth has maxillae and sixth labium is present organ of taste in insects is labral epipharynx the inner lining of labrum is referred to as labrum epipharynx which is referred to as organ of taste in insects the number of segments in insect head six which include preantenary antenary intercalary mandibular maxillary and labial the endoskeleton of the insect cuticle that provides space for the attachment of muscles of antenna and mouth parts is called Entorium. Pronotum is saddle shaped in grasshopper. Here you can see the saddle shaped pronotum in case of grasshopper and cockroaches. The pronotum is shield like. Which of the following orders possesses dicondylic mandibles? Tysonura. We know that all pterygoids are monocondylic, and pterygoids are dicondylic. But Tysonura is an exception that, being a pterygoid, it possesses dicondylic mandibles. Condyle is the point of articulation or attachment with the insect head, and dicondylic means that each mandible is articulated to the head region, both anteriorly as well as posteriorly. the lipoprotein layer of the epicuticle is cuticulin layer the basal segment of the insect antenna is scape insect antenna is mainly made up of three parts scape pedicel and flagellum scape is attached to the antennal sulcus and it is the basal segment the johnston's organ is present on pedicel johnston's organ is a collection of sensory cells 
Its main function is to detect the motion of the flagellum. And interestingly, it acts as an auditory organ in case of some of the diphtherins. The chemical formula of chitin is C8H13O5 N. It is a polymer of N acetyl D glucosamine having this structure. A line of weakness is located from dash up to dash region in insect. It is from France region and extends till the thorax region. Coming to the last question of the video, the epistomal suture is absent in Blatta orientalis, which is the oriental cockroach. Hope the video was useful. Thank you.